let's talk about jeans and I don't mean trousers a countless amount is in life all around us but how to account for life's behaviours and structures is a question receiving many answers from cultures the developments of life has long caused confusion then Charles Darwin wrote a book that offered a solution on the origin of species was his way of introducing a life had diverged by surviving evolution now every living thing had to come from a parent and each generation can become a bit different Gregor Mendel was the first to show how this happened by crossbreeding pea plants and pondering the patterns. By 1953, Watson and Crick was on the case. They were the dynamic duo that deciphered DNA. Must be in a double helix like a spiral staircase with G's married to C's and T's paired so to A's. So let's talk about jeans and I don't mean trousers as a key feature of characteristics. They can help identify kids and relatives. So we need to be reflecting on the benefits. So let's talk about jeans and I don't mean trousers to be informed when debating the evidence. Just remember it's okay to be a skeptic but work with the facts and be fair as a critic. We all have traits passed on through inheritance. Traits that are built from genetic instructions. Some are recessive but others are dominant. When it comes to species, the genes of the government. From a single cell, your identity can be known. The information is stored in the chromosomes. With 23 pairs and nearly every cell you own, they're bundled in the nucleus. That's their home. Now chromosome pairs have particular schemes and sequenced along them are different genes. With the rest of the cell, they form a team that turns amino acids into proteins. The proteins are vital to life everywhere from the blood in the veins to our growth and repair but genes can mutate or become impaired then create proteins that harm our welfare. So let's talk about genes and I don't mean trousers as a key feature of characteristics. They can help identify kids and relatives so we need to be reflecting on the benefits. Let's talk about genes and I don't mean trousers to be informed when debating the evidence. Just remember it's okay to be a skeptic but work with the facts and be fair as a critic. Over the years, many have peered through microscopes, learning how life gets spilled through genetic codes. But a gene doesn't read like a horoscope, it won't tell your future, but it can bring a little hope. Because some genes are linked to diseases, as random mutations cause flaws in sequences, replacing those faults is the hope for gene therapies. Like patching up genes or ironing out the pieces to decrease the chance of illnesses pleasing, like hay fever tablets to help avoid sneezing. But for genetic disorders, there's a way of revealing potential risks in our lifetime, it's called genetic screening. I hit some of you screaming out designer babies And are we cheating nature by resorting to technology To use genetic engineering we must do it ethically By making sure we know the risks of using so such a remedy So let's talk about genes and I don't mean trousers As a key feature of characteristics They can help identify kids and relatives So we need to be reflecting on the benefits so let's talk about genes and I don't mean trousers To be informed when debating the evidence Just remember it's okay to be a skeptic But work with the facts and be fair as so let's talk about genes. So let's talk about genes. So let's talk about genes.